Hey everyone, it's Donna here, and today I am here with two videos. Um, this first one is going to be just the bodices, the wedding dress bodices that I have for sale. Um, and the second one is going to be vintage linen, some bundles, some individual pieces, some doily bundles, and some grungy grab bags. So, um, up first, I have four uh, bodices for sale today and I have a um, disclaimer on bodices while they are usually the prettiest part or the most decorated part of a wedding gown uh, they are also the most difficult to work with and that's because usually with a wedding with the bodice the stitching that holds the beads on and beads and sequins on goes all the way through the satin so you won't be able to seam pick the uh, appliques off you will need to fussy cut around them to use them and of course you need to check for um, strings that go connect two different uh, appliques so with that being said um, these are probably going to be too expensive for my international um, buyers for shipping because they weigh over the the weight for um, first First Class International um, and as these sell out I'll mark them sold down below in the description box so you'll know what's still available and what's not and let's get going um, if you want to place an order you need to send me an email and my email address will be down below here as well and in the description box all right up first these are going to be kind of difficult to show because I am using my my phone holder uh, this is lot 21 this one has embroidered appliques on it I'm going to pan pan around so you can see it has um, short sleeves has nice nice speed work on it and I'm going to come down on this center center applique so you can see um, beads and clear sequins on this one and it goes up coming down to the front of the bodice are some that are hanging off the edge here and then on the sleeves you've got some around the bottom of the sleeve and you have this this pretty um, medallion um, the sequins on the sleeves have have turned a little bit so they have started to turn yellow a little bit we've got there and then some on, on the back of the sleeve as well and on the bodice this part here is on tool so you'll be able to um, separate that easily and then on the back there are these large pearl buttons that go all the way down. There are a few more, um, few more appliques on the back with lots of sequins on them. So that is lot 21. Uh, this one I'm asking $12 for this. Lot 22. Um, has the Alençon corded appliques on this one clear clear sequins uh, no sleeves on this one but it is um, heavily beaded pick it up so you can see all the beadwork on it um, I thought this one had this one has some rice beads really nice speed work on on this look at that medallion hanging off the bottom of the front all the beads up in there gorgeous and then on the back there's no um, no buttons on this one but you've got the appliques coming over the shoulder and coming all the way down and some going around the side as well these look like these are already hanging most of the way off so those might actually come off 
So this is lot number 22. I am asking $15 for this one. Lot number 23 is heavily beaded. Um, it has these large pearls going all the way around the neckline, front and back. I'll come down in a minute, but I'm just going to pan around. It has short sleeves with these two rows of those large pearls as well. This one has um, cut work appliques on it. And it has this large piece down at the bottom. I think this is all one, one piece in here and it's hanging off of the bottom. This one has some iridescent bugle beads on it. You see some more of them there. The, those are throughout, I think, yeah. Has some little tiny seed beads as well. Nice, very nice beadwork on here. There's another medallion in the middle that comes right here got more of the bugle rows of bugle beads and the sleeves the sleeves are on tool so you'll be able to um, separate those fairly easily and it's got appliques all the way all the way around and on the back I noticed on this sleeve there is a patch of yellowed um, sequins but that appears to be the only place where the sequins have turned is this one applique up here and then on the back there are more more appliques a good amount on the back usually there's there's less on the back where well, there's less beadwork but this still has the the nice beadwork on it so this is lot 23. I am asking $18 for this one. And lastly, lot 24 is pretty, pretty spectacular. Um, I'm just going to pan around. This one has the corded Alassane appliques on it as well covered with covered with them this one has short sleeves a little bit of poofiness to them the the sequins look very yellowed in the viewfinder but they don't look that yellowed well they they look hardly yellowed at all in 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 person okay this one has little tiny seed beads on top of the sequins Let me show up close some of the detail. Little tiny seed beads, clear sequins. This part here is hanging off the bottom. Very, very nice beadwork. And then the back of this one is covered as well. Same, same um, nice beadwork on the back. You can see. There's tool back here, so that will be easy to, to take off. And this one has the large pearl buttons on it as well. So that is lot 24. Uh, this one I am asking $20 for. And that's it for the wedding dress bodices. Uh, stay tuned for video number two with vintage linens and i'll see you in a bit bye